there are many ways to vary from ideal arm carriage. Fortunately, by focusing on the right technique, we can fix many of the errors. Let's start by looking at good and bad arm carriage. Observe the walker in the middle. Their arm swing maintains a constant angle between the upper arm and the lower arm as the hand traces from the middle of your chest to just behind the hip. In contrast, the walker on the left is swinging their arms too far in front and behind. We know it's too far because their wrist is in front of their ankle. Likewise, the walker on the right isn't swinging their arms through a far enough range of motion and thus limits their hip rotation and stride length. Walkers also have issues maintaining a constant angle between their upper and lower arm. Observe how the walker on the right's arm angle increases as they swing backward and decreases as they swing forward. This is a waste of energy. Observing walkers from the side gives a very two-dimensional representation. It's important to make sure the arms are not robotic as demonstrated by the walker on the left or crossing over too much as with the walker on the right. Moving directly across the body or bringing the arms forward too straight inhibits forward hip rotation. We can also fine-tune the arm carriage in other ways. Look how the walker on the left holds her arms at an angle away from their torso. This is a waste of energy. Instead, you should look more like the walker on the right. Fortunately, the cures are basically the same for all of these ailments.